When someone mentions personal safety, our thoughts wander off to highly hazardous situations in a high-risk working environment, or a situation where someone is performing complex tasks involving tools or maybe chemicals. And when it comes to personal security, we typically think of walking alone in the dark or in a bad area of town. So how come we don't think about normal everyday workplace tasks or even walking around the workplace during the day? Well, it's because we're in a somewhat comfortable place. Well, for the most part, anyway. Often we get into a sense of routine and we drop off our guard and tend to ignore emerging hazards we perceive as either inconsequential or, even worse, we don't pay attention to our surroundings at all. Let's have a look at a situation where a worker needs to step out of a meeting. Now, of course, she grabs her phone and, once away from the meeting, she hits up her favorite social media feed. Navigating familiar surroundings is fairly easy. We can look down at our phone, walk down familiar hallways, even open doors. Simple enough. Or is it? As mentioned earlier, we get comfortable in our surroundings. Because of this, we can easily forget there might be other people around. Things can easily change. And we see here the young woman has exited into a hallway outside of her normal work area and is still too distracted by her phone to notice some obvious tripping hazards. Whoa, whoa, oops! Fortunately, it was nothing more than a slight stumble, but it could have been worse. Just glancing up from the phone for a few seconds and scanning the environment is often enough to practice situational awareness. Okay, without getting technical, situational awareness is being aware of your surroundings enough that should something out of the ordinary occur, you can react. It's nothing new. It's a discipline that's been used in many high-risk situations, but these same principles can be applied to everyday workplace environments to make for a safer working environment. Let's look at another situation. The same worker in a similar situation stepping away from a meeting but too engrossed in her phone to notice someone in the hallway that doesn't belong. Now we enter spaces like a washroom we feel safe. After all, these are safe spaces. Our comfort level rises again. Maybe too comfortable. Even these spaces can be jeopardized if we're not paying attention to our surroundings. So what can we do to not take things for granted in our workplace? It's simple. Number one, we avoid non-work-related distractions like cell phones or music players. Number two is we scan our environment frequently for changes. Even looking up from your work occasionally every 20 minutes can make a difference. And we always scan a new environment when we enter it to check for possible hazards. Remember, safety at work is also your responsibility. So take care and stay safe.